Hello again, everybody. This is Craig Evans of Autism Hangout, and thank you for tuning in to this installment of the Autism Hangout feature program series, Autism in the Workplace, Job Success. I'm always delighted to add to this category, and today's entry is about a returning guest. With me today is Chef Tom Dickinson, and he's back to announce his second cookbook that's dedicated to GFCF cooking. Now, Tom is on the spectrum and it lends him great credibility in his day trade. He cooks with food. And his cookbooks are now selling around the world. So Autism Hangout, please welcome today's guest, the founder of GFCF Fusion, Chef Tom Dickinson. Welcome, Tom. Nice to have you back. Thanks a lot, Craig. It's a pleasure to be back. Well, you have done so many things since we've last chatted. You have your radio show. You've written another cookbook. And now I understand you're an instructor in a, in a cooking capacity. Can you tell us a bit about that? Uh, yes, actually. Well, unfortunately, I had to resign from the radio show due to my workload, and uh, but it was a really great opportunity. But um, right now, I actually had, through my friend Tom Work, I actually had the chance to be an instructor at an after-school program for middle school kids. It's called Place to Be After Three, and uh, what I have done is I'm working with these kids and I'm teaching them about fresh food and uh, not cooking frozen pizzas and not eating Hot Pockets after school. I, I mean, just yesterday I did my class and I taught them how to make their own pizza dough and to make their own pizzas. And they learned that it was simpler than they thought it would be. And uh, they really took to it and I had a chance to work with another middle school besides the one I'm working with now, having a couple kids take a field trip over there. And mm -hmm. it's great and I'm currently working on uh, implementing a second after school cooking class at another middle school right now. We made sushi the first day. We made macaroni and cheese from scratch, and uh, the kids did it. I just watched them. I showed them the technique, and uh, they really. Some of them are really taking to it. It's really been exciting, and they're really learning that fresh food can be fun. You're teaching them the basic principles of eating, and that's that's been a long lost science and an art form in America. Well, speaking of art forms, talk to me about your new cookbook. Okay, my new cookbook is called, uh, got it right here, my new cookbook is called Cooking with Class. Cool. And the class part stands for Creativity, Love, Attitude, Simplicity, and Soul. Wow. And uh, one of the reasons I wrote this cookbook, Craig, is because I have this personal mission I've been on in the last year, and that personal mission is getting people who are on the autism spectrum back in the kitchen or into the kitchen mm -hmm. and I feel that anybody can cook well whether you know NTs you know they can cook well I believe people on the spectrum can cook well and I'm a personal believer that <laughs> cooking for yourself builds confidence and it improves your quality of life and this is what this um, book is really based about and um, I have a really great section in here it's called a gallery of appreciation and it's really showing a lot of the groups and a lot of the autism support groups that I support and the people that I'm very grateful for who have backed me up. And Craig, actually, in this book, I have a very nice picture of you and your wife. <laughs> wonderful. Well, that's just wonderful. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm looking forward to seeing the book. I'd like to see the picture. Actually, let me open it up. Uh, I was going to say, are we eating? Uh, no, actually, the <laughs> picture is right here. You can see it right there. <laughs> And uh, it's just the autism groups that um, I support and the ones that I stand behind. And I wanted to add them into that gallery. And I mentioned our interview we've done before. And I'm really grateful for that. And it's been a really, really great. Uh, there's pictures of the people from the odd spot. There's Leonora Colora, uh, Kelly Green, who does Autism Highway. Mm -hmm. And it's been uh, mm -hmm. really, really uh, great. And these people have bought my books. They've stood behind GSDF Cooking. And... Uh, well, you represent so many positive things, Tom. The fact that you are su successful in your business and you're contributing and giving back to the community through these wonderful books about GFCF. By the way, what is the latest in the GFCF revolution that you are leading? Well, I'm really working on mostly just getting this um, after-school program off the ground and uh, really getting in with these kids. And I'm just really pushing and pushing and getting people... <clears throat> to cook for themselves. I recently um, got a chance to really connect with people. I just connected with Tina Fougere from the Canadian National Autism Foundation. I just, I'm trying to get the book around. And the first book I'm, I'm really proud to say, Craig, Where There's a Meal, There's a Way has mm -hmm. sold 100 copies mm -hmm. in um, the United States, Canada, Australia, and the United Kingdom. And it's 
it's become a worldwide thing. And just the fact that, you know, when I look back, when I just sit back and realize, wow, I've become internationally recognized and it's, <laughs> it's very humbling and I'm, and I'm very grateful for that. And I'm just pushing and really putting myself out there saying, we need to get people in the kitchen. You know, I don't want people on the spectrum depending for their dinners, you know, you know, I've always believed that people underestimate the abilities of people on the spectrum. Yes. And they shouldn't. Teach them how to cook at a young age. Get them in the kitchen. I mean, a lot of people on the spectrum excel in mathematics. They'd be very good at baking and pastry mm -hmm. because of that. Tom, you're changing the world in many ways. And you yourself are such a wonderful force in this regard. You're teaching us all to eat better. And you're teaching us all about the basics of food. And you yourself are a wonderful advocate and representative for how successful people on the spectrum can actually be. I want to find 200 more people just like you because we know they're out there. And they yeah. can spur us all on to better things and making contributions. So before I get lost here, uh, where can people find out more information on your new cookbook? Uh, just the same website that I that where there's a meal there's a way is available. It's www.gfcfusion.webs.com. Uh, the price of the book is eleven ninety five. Mm -hmm. uh, where there's a meal there's a way is sixteen ninety five, and they can also purchase the Chef Tom collection, which is both books at a discounted price. So it's actually cheaper to buy both books than it is to buy them individually. Excellent. And I'm sure they're both just packed with information. It just was one cookbook I started out with Craig, and this has really turned into my life's work. And it's something that I'm dedicating my life to, to making sure that every single person who is on the spectrum who can, can get into the kitchen and cook a fresh, simple, delicious meal for themselves. Very commendable and very noble. What's next for you, Tom? What do you got on the horizon? I definitely want to look at book number three. Mm -hmm. And uh, I definitely want to continue to support the different autism groups. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that has really been another mission of mine. I've really looked at all these autism groups and how everybody has a, a different perspective on things. Mm -hmm. And it has caused a lot of arguments. Some people mm -hmm. say, oh, I don't want to hang out with this person because they think that autism can be cured. I don't want to hang out with this person because they think that autism was caused by vaccines. And, you know, and... One of my things is I really have wanted to get people to together, you know, and mm -hmm. if we all just join our forces together, we can really raise awareness and do something. And this real kind of motto that I've started to go by is called, I'm calling it respect the perspectives. And I think it's something that we really need to do. Mm -hmm. Well, I like having you on Autism Hangout because to me you represent one of the best perspectives possible and that is that we can all thrive with autism. Yes, we can. And I'd just like to show um, the listeners out there, uh, do you guys want to see how much I support Autism Hangout? <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> right there. That is fantastic. That is how much I support Autism Hangout. I don't put anything on my chef jacket unless I back that group 100%, and that is what I do. Well, let's just keep it on your chef jacket and no tattoos, okay? Yeah, this thing was cheaper than a tattoo, Drake. <laughs> I don't like needles. Tom, thank you again for what you do, and thank you again for coming on today and telling us about your success. Glad I could come on, Greg. It's a pleasure to have you, and thank you, Autism Hangout. I hope to be back again real soon with another Thriving with Autism success job in the workplace program. See you later.